Well, what is up guys welcome back to the channel today's reaction video is inside the most expensive homes in the us these should be good homes yeah these should be like mega homes i hope they're not the two face the most expensive so they're gonna be what i hope they're not i hope they're not like homes which should just have 20 bedrooms they're pointless just trying Show to show homes. off i kind of wanted like a really nice but expensive home like a small house which probably has family house a family house three or four bedrooms but i feel like you don't need much more than three or four bedrooms norm do you know what i mean as a as a, as a normal single family home like house like if you've not got like you just don't need grandparents. I, I don't think anyone needs if you have like grandparents, grandparents and all that. um but like four bedroomed ridiculously expensive really nice that's the dream isn't it yeah it doesn't have to be ridiculously expensive as long as it's nice but i suppose that's the dream on the expensive homes yeah. i think these are going to be mansions and we're going to be I blown like away home looking ones i don't mind them but i feel like they're going to be mansions going to be blown away but i feel like these are stuff which i'll be like i don't mind i don't have that but it's mm. still really impressive, if that makes mm. sense. We're recording on lunch, so hopefully we won't be pausing too much because I have to get back to work. Uh, Millie is 30, eight and a half weeks pregnant when we record mm. this. 39 tomorrow. 39 tomorrow. More than a half, then. Yeah, 39 mm. tomorrow. We don't know when she's going out. We're pre-recording, but hopefully you enjoy. Are you ready to get into it? Yeah. Let's go. What have we got? We live in a world with all sorts of homes that come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. We've got the luxurious penthouses, humongous True. ranches, and uh, whatever this thing is. What is that? A few countries have the sort of crazy property variety you can find in the United States. It's okay. not all mansions and penthouses. Sometimes it's bigger mansions and penthouses. <laughs> so join that. us as we take a look at the most expensive homes the United States has to offer. We're going to be Get ready to these call your accountant. I some of these homes are right oh, yeah. for the taking. I'm not no. just saying that to be like oh, i know what i said at the start i don't i that massive house like that don't does not it. interest me it would scare the living daylights out of me if i was in there by myself like if you were out it would scare the life oh 100 percent. but work. i wish i had it because that means i could afford it <laughs> i'd rather have the money in the bank that's what i mean but i could sell it and then have the money in the bank do you know what i mean yeah i wouldn't live in it oh i, I wouldn't live in the I massive would, massive ones. number eight gemini 115 million dollars to start us off, million. we'll be heading to Florida and checking out one of the largest and most expensive properties the state has to offer, Gemini. Located in the small town of Manalapan, in the south of Palm Beach, this lovely bit of real estate was built back in 2002, I'm and it's been making garden. its way to it top 10 beautiful. lists ever since. If there's any property in Florida worth enough to crack the $100 million threshold, it's Gemini. Okay. And I'm not, not just saying that because of its cool name. This property covers about 16 acres course. of ocean facing property. So it's not just flashy, it's massive as well. And the designers of this place really put that extra space to work. There's a massive pool, a dock, and an entire the PGA dock. standard putting green on the property. And that's before I even mention the massive mansion that sits in the middle of this place. Wow. The main mansion has a whole 62,200 square feet of living space. It has 33 bedrooms, 38 bathrooms. Three. Three. And 14 you don't need half Some people might you say don't. this home is pretty freaking big, but aren't we all tiny in the massive expanse of the universe? It is I'm a just lot. kidding, this place is massive. That's not all Gemini has to offer. I haven't even mentioned the seven bedroom guest house and the network of underground tunnels that run through this place. If you're surprised Gemini is so low on the list, you should stick around. It gets crazier. Oh, Number seven, it only gets more Estate, bigger. $180 million. Smack dab wow. in the middle of Holmby Hills, Los Angeles, is an estate with a name straight out of a fantasy novel. Listed for a somewhat disagreeable $180 See, like million dollars on the market, this home isn't just a okay. storied part of Holmby Hills. It's got quite a lot of secondhand star power, too. Nah, all from nothing more the than the sheer amount of Watch. $180 million on the market. Oh, this home that. isn't Wait. just a storied part of Holmby Hills. It's got quite... Uh, that's a person! Oh. It's a, a lot of secondhand person. star power yeah, too, from all from nothing more than the sheer amount of rich and famous people that have lived in the place. Top players like 20th Century Fox chairman Joseph Schneck, oil tycoon William Keck, and Hotel Bel Air founder Joseph Drown. Wow. To celebrities like Sonny and Cher. It was even owned by real estate developer Robert Shapiro, who got sent to prison for a $1.3 billion Ponzi scheme. Ooh, la, That's how we could afford that. Right? The home itself is an Italian-style villa covering about 12,000 square feet of space in total. It might Much not be the biggest space. mansion around, but it's got those little touches of luxury real estate agents point at. Stuff like a marble fireplace, crystal chandeliers, and the stuff that'll make your wallet hurt. 24 karat gold bath fixtures. You've also got your tennis court, your pool, and whatever else the you want to put on the tennis the court. Yes, I could. I would like that. I would. I would take that in my back garden. 
Yeah, oh, I just need the garden a bit smaller too because that would also freak me out at night time. No yeah, I'm not anti big by the way. I just don't want 13 bedrooms and I also no. want a goal. I want a garden with a tennis court and a pool 100% yeah, and a golf simulator. If you shift the pool and the tennis court to like here in the middle, yeah, just by the side of the driveway, and that's all I need. I understood that. You guys probably didn't because we didn't use a mouse, but I understood that, so it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Certainly he needs to know what I need. Ten acres of prime <laughs> property you get when you purchase this place. Ultimately, though, despite how mouth-watering it was to purchase this home for $180 million, the market thought otherwise. And after languishing for a while, it ended up getting sold for $88 million instead. I guess. Okay. So it dropped. Casa and Cantata, $225 million. Located in the first place anyone looks when you want to find all the mega mansions and crazy estates in the U.S. Bel Air, California. Hello. The Casa Encantada, or House of Enchantment, was course. built in 1938 by some very wealthy people, which is saying a lot, seeing as how this was during the Great Depression. We wow. all know nothing makes you happier than a massive 40,000 square feet mega mansion. This property once earned itself the title of most expensive home in the United States, back when it was put up for sale in October of 2019 for a massive massive $225 million That's for such so a crazy money. asking price. What Willy Wonka-esque fantasy land would you be getting when you purchase this house of enchantment? Well, sorry to burst your bubble. It turns out the Casa Encantada is just your ordinary everyday mega mansion. But hey, it's got a couple of saving graces. On top of the 40,000 square so feet of living kids, space. So you had a kid's play equipment outside in the garden. Yeah. I'm not seeing my kids running around that house. Well, if you if you own it and you have kids, then you're not gonna not you're not gonna move out when you pay two hundred twenty five million for it. No, but can you imagine, like them sitting? Oh, them just like oh, I mean, so many a... crumbs and stuff. I guess you got made of. I would say you got, 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 got made to follow them, <laughs> which include a reception hall with eighteen foot ceilings, several living rooms, and an indoor several bar. Living rooms. There are a few amenities as well: a huge pool house that comes with its own bar, a wow. couple of places to exercise like a tennis court and a basketball court, and a couple actually enchanting places, like a greenhouse, a rose nice. garden, and koi ponds. Wow. Now I can officially say, there are fish out there living more luxurious lives than me. <laughs> yeah. Number five, Fairfield Pond Estate, $250 million. Next, we have a truly insane home. A piece Bye. of American real it's estate like so Alex. fancy, it belongs on a what? Netflix series about English royals. Located in the Hamptons, because of course it is, this estate bucks the trend of having one luxurious mansion sitting on a massive tract of land. Nope, this time it's actually four different houses, and when combined, they cover a total of 110,000 square feet of space, all sitting on 63 acres of land. Yeah, the nice. property comes with what I would charitably describe as too much space. But I much. guess that's debatable. But you know, might want to live with three generations you know of your extended of family. Design. There are 21 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms here, and plenty of amenities, of course. Wow. You could use either of the two bowling alleys, two Bo pool two. houses, and a playhouse for the kids enough. to have fun at when they're bored. Or you could just send them out to the vast expanse of grass that makes up this property. One lap around this place, that'll knock them out. This property is a little bit mysterious. There isn't too much out there about it. Even estimates of the cost vary wildly, all the way from 250 million to 500 million. To top it all off, the property tax on this place alone is allegedly $650,000 every year. Wow. Truly worthy just of at least tax, a Netflix man. cameo. Number four. If you can afford that, you can afford that. Two hundred fifty million dollars. Texas has its own share of expensive that homes is... and estates. They no, don't say everything's <laughs> bigger in Texas for no reason. And very few homes are as expensive or as these, Texan as Mesa Vista yep. Ranch. Owned by the late oil prospector and hedge fund. We live in an apartment. I'll just take a house. I'll take a house. I don't need a pool. I'll take a house. I would like a pool. But we can both record one. Yeah, I'll take a house then eventually. I, I, I'm, saying, yeah, but no, I'm saying right now, if we had the choice. I'd, I'd just take a house. <laughs> I would just take a house. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Fun founder, Boone Pickens, he put a large part of his $500 million net worth into the acquisition of this property, which was quite the investment. Considering this property is about large enough to fit an entire small town, the mansion sitting in the middle of this place certainly isn't the largest thing around, especially in comparison to a whopping yeah. 64,800 acres that it's make massive. up the rest of the ranch. Honestly, 
I probably didn't even have to mention this ranch is in Texas, did I? As for the main mansion, well, it's not lacking either. The home spans about 33,000 square feet. In case you didn't already feel small enough living on this ranch, it comes decked out with the classics. A home wow. theater big enough to seat 30 cool. people with an adjoining popcorn room and a dining room large enough to fit 40 people, to name hey, a couple. Yeah. Obviously, that's not where the luxury ends with this bad boy. There's an 11,500 square foot lake house on the property, roughly 12 miles of water running through the ranch, topped off with man-made waterfalls, creeks, and lakes. You can also find a fleet of vehicles available to drive you around the ranch, fire trucks in case of emergency, and a freaking airport hangar. All that's left is a mill and a cotton gin to make it a proper town. Wow. Number three, that is mad. West Creek Ranch. Two hundred seventy-nine million dollars. <laughs> and then it shows how. <laughs> Next up, we have a property that isn't just one of America's most expensive listings. It's also mind-bogglingly massive. If you thought Mesa Vista Ranch was huge, well, hold on to your socks. This place is made up of four distinct parcels of land and covers an astounding eight thousand seven hundred acres. It's so big it stretches from Colorado to Utah. The property belongs to Discovery Channel founder John Hendricks. He originally purchased the place back in the nineteen. 90s, eventually accumulating more and more land. It's and not it just it. kept going, apparently. When you aren't getting lost in the expansive wilderness that is this ranch, you can stay in the humble 22,000 square foot main home. It looks known nice. As the West Creek Ranch Residence. Or like in one the of the numerous separate resort style guest lodges. There are a total There's of a 72 hotel. rooms on this property, so you're kind of spoiled for choice. Wow. The West Creek Ranch Residence. See, that's not too bad, though. If he's, if he's living his own bit and then he's rent like hotel restaurants of that, it's technically a business for him, isn't it? at that point so i kind of thought fair play do you know what i mean yeah he's not just going i have this house him sleeping in that little bed and then another 70 rooms <laughs> just empty no i agree bedrooms and eight bathrooms across the home's four floors and you've got your little extra touches as well like a two-story circular stone library a movie theater a swimming pool and spa wow. alongside that there's a 400 square foot observatory That's two good. helipads and a hangar because how else are you getting around this place well you could always head on over to the car museum filled with hendrix vintage car collection which is also located on this property surely everyone's <laughs> got a piece of this place right well this gargantuan piece of real Real estate was Beautiful. first on the market back in 2017 with an asking price of 149 million dollars but somehow failed to sell when someone is going to have to explain to me in the comments I'm, see, I'm I've surprised seen to that. sell for twice mm -hmm. the price of this ranch the owner must have thought the same thing because back in 2019 they relisted the property with a nice little 130 million dollars added on bumping it up to 279 oh, million dollars yet somehow the property failed to attract buyers which will surprise me forever I wonder Number why. Two, the Chartwell I suppose at that price you are a limited audience, aren't you? You know what I mean? There's You're a very limited audience for that amount of money. There's in only that a certain area. amount of people could buy that, especially if you want to go to Texas. Remember, I want to live in Texas. Mm. Obviously, it's a great place to live, but not everyone does. You've got a limited range, haven't you? Yeah, it's not like you're trying to sell like a mil million pound house. Yes. It's one of them where it's like all your money's in that, and then if you suddenly bankrupt, I'll quickly just set up a 50. <laughs> take, yeah, take you a could, you have mil to really drop. Lower, yeah. $350 million. With a name like that, you know it's going to be on this list. And like some of the homes on this list, this estate was also once one of the most expensive homes in the U.S. Located in Bel Air, California, because where Prince. else is it going to be? The Chartwell estate was owned by the late TV executive, Gary Perry. Thanks to him, we had a massive estate worth $350 million. The mansion sat on the market waiting for takers. Eventually, it got scooped up for less than half the price, okay. $150 million. As That's for the details of this yeah. place, well, it's designed in a very sexy 18th century French neoclassical style and covers over 25,000 square feet of living space, all sitting on 10 acres of land. It isn't just big for nothing either. This estate is big enough to fit a swimming pool, a guest house, and a garage big enough to fit 40 cars. Other fancy amenities that bump the price tag include a tennis court, impressive gardens, a wine cellar, and a little old guest house. Oh, in nice. case you're tired of sleeping in the same bed every night, but don't like the bar scene. Fair I mean, these are mega, aren't they? Mm. They are mega. Million 
dollars. Half a bill. You knew this one was coming. The biggest mansion in the U.S., the most expensive mansion in the U.S., and the property that sat at the top of top ten lists for a long time. The one. This the epic one. mansion is the brainchild of former movie producer Niall Miami. He started work on this place back in 2013, and he built it in the one neighborhood in the United States such a mansion could ever exist, Bel Air. This mansion you. covers over 100,000 square feet of space. Trust me, just walking around this place will have you winded. Rock. It's a chunker of a building. It's got 21 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms, two massive dining rooms, and a 5,500 square foot master suite. This super mega mansion. Um, I know mansion I said about the rooms are bad, just okay. story, bad just look at it. Somebody looks I don't modern need as well. Bathrooms. Do you know what it is? I think it's with you. You think of a mansion like an old fashioned creepy. Then, that scared. one before that was too old fashioned looking for me. This is more modern. This, I, I. If someone gave me this, I would, would, I live would in it. run with it. Oh, I give, if you give me anything, I'd run with it, to be honest with you. Yeah, but I'd probably tell the last one. Yeah, probably say, but you'd live in that one. I'd live in that. I'd take it back what I said. Especially in LA, where there's good, like, you know, you've got those pools. Yeah. Things is, they'd have to give you a load of money. That's the important to be able to pay tax and stuff like that. Yeah, if they paid for the tax for me. Oh, if, if, if it was a free just living forever. Free living forever. Oh, I won't complain. 100%. Yeah, I couldn't. Let's take care of your comfort. It's got all the yeah, luxurious qualities like smaller it. mansions more have, modern. but bigger. For example, you've got a wine cellar capable of holding more than 10,000 bottles. There are five swimming pools on the five property, a 36 seat movie theater, and finally, its very own casino and nightclub. I wow. believe my point has has been made. And to top it all off, the design of this place is phenomenal. It's got nice minimalist designs, marble walls, and lots of glass. To give you those amazing views of the Los Angeles skyline you're paying $500 million for. Speaking of which, it turns out selling this massive hunk of house for $500 million has proved to be a bit of a challenge for Niall <laughs> Miami, meaning it might be facing a court-ordered sale. I guess the one might just be getting booted from its number one spot pretty soon. So what do you think about wow. these homes? Yeah, Found again, it's limited audience, isn't it? it yeah. Who's, it's hard to pay 500 million for a house. Like, from what we said at the start, though, it looks stunning, very nice. Especially when, like, you think the first one on this list was was a decent house, okay. and it was, like, half the price. Would you not go for... Exactly. Well, no, they're not. You, to be fair, you could probably get away. If you were that rich, you could get away with a house which is acceptable to you for, like, five mil, like, easily. Yeah, and easily. then you sort out yourself... Maybe. And then you still got 495 mil to chill. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Very jealous. We'll stick with our two bed flat. Though I like our two bed flat. It is lovely. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe and watch the video. Have a fantastic And we'll day. see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.